Begin by carefully unpacking and laying out the carton contents. Scan the QR code to access the installation guide and compare the carton contents with the component checklist. To assemble the base, take the bridge and one of the legs and align the holes. Take an M8 nut and hold it in one of the hexagonal slots on the leg. Take one of the shorter M8 screws and pass it through the holes in the bridge and screw it into the M8 nut using the 6mm hex key. Repeat this for the other three screw locations, then ensure screws are firmly tightened with the provided hex key. Next, use the washers and two longer M8 screws to secure the post to the base. Ensure the cable clips are facing backwards towards the smaller side of the base. Tighten screws firmly. Remove the cable clips by sliding them up and out of the post. Some displays require the use of a VESA adapter, which may ship in the box with the display. Consult your display's installation guide for further information. If your display has a flat or protruding VESAMANT surface, use the 10mm M4 screws to attach the VESA plate with the finger knobs pointing upwards towards the top of the screen. If your screen has a recessed VESA mounting surface, use the spaces provided and the 20mm M4 screws. Attach VESA plate with the finger knobs pointing upwards towards the top of the screen. Take the first bracket and lower it over the post ensuring to align the inner guide into the rear channel of the post. Slide the bracket to a comfortable height for the lower display. Make sure hung display won't hit the base. Firmly tighten the hand knob to set the position. Measure the height of the display that will be mounted at the top. Install the second bracket to the post as per the first bracket, ensuring the space between the top of the two brackets is slightly greater than the height of the top display. Take a moment to find a suitable location for the stand on your work surface. Note that displays must be removed before attempting to relocate the stand in future. You must start with the bottom screen. Pull the clips on the VESA plate into the open position. With assistance, carry the display to the bracket. Hook the silver bar on the VESA plate into the saddle on the bracket, hanging the display like a painting. You must push the clips on the VESA plate into the closed position before proceeding. Movement of the display is expected if a load is applied to the corner. This should be avoided. Repeat this for the top display. For most basic setup, we recommend keeping your screens straight. If you choose to tilt one or both screens, be aware to allow extra height between brackets and carefully trial fit before adjusting closer. Turn the two knobs to the right of the bracket counterclockwise to unlock the display tilt mechanism. Adjust the screen angle by gripping the edges of the screen and rolling the display up or down as required. If the tilt tension is too tight to adjust the angle, loosen the screws to the left of the bracket with the 4mm hex key. Secure the tilt angle by tightening the two knobs to the right of the bracket, turning clockwise. The fine adjustment knobs located on the rear of the VESA plates can be used to correct crooked displays or an unwanted gap between displays. Turn the knobs clockwise to raise or anti-clockwise to lower either the left or the right side of each display. The total range of movement for each side is 12 millimeters. The provided cable clips can be used to conceal cables down the length of the post. Load cables into the clips, then squeeze both sides to push them into the post channel. For additional documentation and support, please visit atdeck.com or email support at atdeck.com.